on May 5th, we held the Game Dev Fireside Jam 2023, where 480 people joined and 106 games were made, all using the theme Guide. In this video, I'm going to show off the top 5 community voted games and the top picks from the judges. And this time around, those judges are Emma, who was the first place winner for the first Fireside Jam, and one of last year's judges, Rocky Mullet, who consistently places high in a number of big game jams, and was also one of the judges last year, and myself, Helper Wesley, who occasionally does kind of okay in game jams. But I'm mostly just here to make the video. So let's get started with the fifth highest rated game in the jam. Mythical Tours, a game where you're a tour guide going through a gauntlet of mythical things with the goal of keeping your clients alive while taking snapshots of mythical creatures. At first it took a little while to understand what I was supposed to be doing, but once you get into it, it starts to feel like a rhythm game with the added challenge of trying to take snapshots of these mythical creatures. And the game was made by Hetty06. In fourth place is The Field Guide, a super chill game about exploring and documenting the native plants of North Carolina, where you walk from a beach to a forest and take notes on and try to classify all of the plants along the way. With its chill music, hand-drawn art, and concept, this game is a real breath of fresh air. It's almost as good as touching grass yourself. The game was made by Lydia from Gear Flower Games. In third is Spirit Odyssey, where you embrace the role of a spirit guide as you navigate and lead lost souls back to their celestial homes. The game starts off with a single boat and some soft chill music, but evolves over time with multiple boats and multiple homes to guide the souls to, and eventually goes from chill and relaxing to a real test of skill. This beautiful game was made by Luna, Annie Zhu, Amy Trang, and Alice Liu. The game in second is called Whistle to the Summit, where you play as a young hiker who has stumbled upon a lost gooseling. And with the gooseling being too weak to fly, it needs your help to get back home. So you whistle as you go up the mountain in this puzzle platformer game to get the gooseling back to its home. This game has a great soundtrack, and where most game jam games tend to get stressful or frustrating at some point, this game is a simple pleasure to play from beginning to end. This game was made by AS Jam. And the number one community voted game was Dinner for Mom, which is a short Pikmin style game where you need to guide your little lumps through the city to prepare the perfect meal for mom. The game has cutscenes, a boss fight, and tons of meat. This game felt like a really complete package from beginning to end. It wasn't a very long game, but it was around just long enough for you to get a taste of what it could have been like if they built it out further. The game's art style and sense of humor really shine through in this one. This game gave me some really good Newground vibes, if you know what I mean. And this game was made by Sulphur Cretan. <laughs> The links to those games will be down below. But now for the judges. We didn't all get a chance to play all of the games, but I know that between the three of us, we covered the vast majority. Once you get over 100 games, it starts to be a lot. But let's jump in, starting with Emma's number one pick, which was Mythical Tours. They said they really enjoyed the chaotic and arcadey feel of the game, 
and the way that it makes you balance moving the tourists around and taking photos was a really fun challenge. And they found themselves actually replaying the game to try and improve their score. But Mythical Tours was already showcased in this video, so let's move on to their second favorite pick, which was Dagon Good Park Keeper, in which you follow a doggo named June on her first day as a park keeper. In order for her to learn the ropes, a peppy weasel named Hadley will be guiding her around and ensuring she performs her duties. Emma said that it's a really cozy game with a fun twist of somebody else guiding the player. The art was adorable, and it was really effective at making you feel like you were learning a new job and getting to know your coworker. And this game was made by Fava Beans. Next is Rocky Mullet's pick. Their number one pick was Dinner for Mom. They said the art and animation were fantastic, and the absurd humor was right down their alley. But just like with Emma, this pick was already shown off in the video. So we're gonna go to their number two pick, which was Don't Forget Me, which is a small puzzle game in which you have to guide an old woman through her last day. Rocky Mullet said, the gameplay is very simple, but the game has charm and a story that might make you cut some onions by the end. Plus, they're a sucker for playable credits. And this game was made by the legendary Mushroom. Alright, now, disclaimer? I really did enjoy all of the games that are in this video, and even a couple that didn't make it in. But my number one pick is Oxygen, which is a simple path making game where you need to get the astronaut to the house at the end of the level. The game is by no means perfect, but it felt like whatever needed to be there was there, and if it didn't need to be there, it wasn't. The game is simple and well put together, and if this game worked on mobile, I could genuinely see myself playing this while on the go. The game was made by Vlad, Luke, and Nick. Whether you ranked highly in the jam or not, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you learned a lot, and I hope to see you next year. A huge thank you to my patrons. Because of them, my coffee cup is full. And as always, the links to the places that I hang out are down below, and if you decide to click on one, then I'll see you there.